as a child, was acting always in the mix? Did you know it was something that you wanted to do? Uh, yes, actually it was. I, I started acting uh, uh, quite young, not on a, in, a, in a professional way, but um, I used to go to drama classes when I was about six or seven where you did little um, improvisations and poetry and things like that. And uh, so, yeah, it's something that I've, I've been doing for a long time now, yeah. And then moving forward 10 years or so, so the age 17, 18, was, was it falling into place then? Was the dream realising yeah. itself? Yeah, I, I, I think by that stage, I was very lucky to go to a sort of um, uh, kind of a youth theatre of sorts. And um, we got to do, we got to play all sorts of brilliant parts. Um, so I really knew uh, by the time I was 16 or 17 that that's what I wanted to do. How do you approach line learning? Or do you have um, any method in your preparation that allows you to like connect with the text organically. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, line learning, uh, I always think, is just about wanting to say the lines. There are lines that you can go and you go, God, I know that. Really weird. That's really easy to learn that. And then there is always lines that you think, I can never remember that line. And I always think that's because you don't like saying the line. Quite simply, you don't either understand it or you go. There's just not something that you're fully connecting with. You're not enjoying saying it. So I would always think that if there's something that you can't remember, it's because there's a part of you that doesn't actually want to say it. You know, you just don't really, you don't really, um, you don't really like it. So I, I think that's something that I've, that I've often thought about line learning. I was just wondering what advice you would give to someone trying to self-promote to get on the radars of casting directors at this early stage. Yeah, I think there aren't too many people that you can write to and say, I can be this, I can be this. You can't write 200 letters uh, and with a degree of authenticity and feel like you're right for 200 different types of parts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I would be cautious about writing too many, but I would write to the people that you think instinctively you you might really work well with you know what part of acting do you find most difficult and how have you overcome it in the past oh that's a really good question the not acting <laughs> that's the most difficult part of being an actor i think it's kind of important to have something else to do you know to have some other creative thing to do i think Kind of having a routine is quite good. I think a lot of actors spend their time watching Bargain Hunt in the middle of the day, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll have another question. Um, Lucy. Hi. Hello. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> um, so you touched on it earlier about how um, in the industry everyone's always saying it's so competitive. Yeah. And so I was just wondering how, if you've ever had it, you get around the kind of self-doubt that comes from that yeah. and like, am I good enough? I think the main thing that's helped me is it's to never, just to try never to be in competition with somebody else, you know? You know, I think a lot of actors have one other actor that they're like, they're, they have a similar style or physicality or age or whatever, and, you, and, and they can sort of become your nemesis and, <laughs> and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and so the, actually the answer to that is, do not think about the other people because the, there are the weirdest journeys to success. And so the only person you can really be in competition with, I know this is quite a dull thing to hear, is, is yourself and to go, what did I do before? What, what am I doing that's working? And what am I doing that's not working? And just the opportunity to get to act in whatever form that may be is, 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 is the great joy of it, you know? Who do you look to for support? I mean, we talked a little bit about networks. These guys, these, these yeah. <laughs> they come with me everywhere. <laughs> Um, I mean, should an actor be friends with actors and be in actors' venues all the time and be in actors' bars and pubs, or is it good to step out of that world, or is it both, or is it... How, how well, for me, I can only speak for myself. I always, when actors, when actors say, well, I don't have any actor friends, I think, well, get some, you know, because, uh, you know, they're your colleagues. But then, having said that, going to a lot of opening nights or, you know, all that stuff where you, you just think, this isn't really... I'm not really in the gang, can be a little bit depressing. And sometimes you do need to go, I, I just don't need to. So I think you just have to feel it yourself a little bit. Okay, yeah, very good.